for this example, we want to find the determinant of a four by four matrix. Now we do this with expansion by cofactors and we want to figure out the easiest row column to expand upon. We could do it pretty much anywhere, but for this case, the easiest way to do this is likely to do this along column two because there's only one non-zero entry in that column. So if we call this matrix A, we know the determinant of A, we expand along column two. So it's going to be negative one to the only one that's non-zero is the second entry. So to the two plus two power for second row, second column, times the value there, which is one, times the determinant of the minor, A22. Now what is that minor? That means I want to remove the second row and second column from the matrix. So the green and yellow part there. I'm gonna remove that and put that there. So what I get then for my expression here is negative one to the four is just one times one times the determinant of that minor, which if I take out that row in that column is one, five, three, four, one, zero, zero, three, one. That's a three by three matrix, so we have to again expand this out to figure out what the determinant is. And again, there are several options. I'm gonna do this by expanding along row three because there's a zero there that we can use to solve this out. So this determinant here is equal to negative one to the column one, row three, one plus three, times the value there, which is zero, times I don't care what's left, plus negative one to the now row three, column two, the value there, which is three, stepping to the middle, times the determinant of what's left, which would be the minor removing that row in that column. So it's gonna be one, three, four, zero, plus negative one to the now three plus three, times the one that's there, times the determinant of that minor, which if I take out that row and that column, gets me the part in the top corner, one, five, four, one, which means I am left with negative one to the fifth is negative one, so negative three, times that two by two determinant, which will be one times zero minus four times three, diagonal minus off diagonal, and then plus negative one to the sixth, which is one times one, times that determinant, which is going to be one times one minus five times four. Here I will see a negative three times a negative 12 plus a one minus 20. So I see a 36 minus a 19, which is 17, which then is the determinant of this matrix. So there's an example of the process of using cofactor expansion to solve for the determinant of a larger matrix by choosing the appropriate row or column to expand upon, and then using this reductive process to figure out what the determinant of this matrix is.